Uh, welcome back. Uh, we've got the management of KEC International now joining in. The company recently secured new orders worth 1,566 crore rupees across its various businesses, which includes TND, civil, oil and gas and cables. We're now joined by Vimal Kejriwal, the MD and CEO of KEC International. Uh, Mr. Kejriwal, morning and thank you very much uh, for joining in. Season's greetings to you. First, if you could tell us the order wins, the order inflows in Q3 so far, where does it take your order book to and what can you expect in terms of wins in Q4? Good morning, Rima, and season's greetings to you. So, so far, we have got orders of around 3,500 crores or so in Q3. And with this, our total order intake is around 11,500 crores. And we have an L1 of around 8,000. So, we'll be around 19,000 crores uh, for the year against our target 25,000 crores. So, uh, Mr. Kejriwal, I mean, you'll underperform that target, which is, uh, which is interesting, you know. Uh, where do you think the miss is coming in from? And let me, uh, you know, throw in the uh, the question on uh, on TND. We were speaking with one of your peer companies, Kalpatru, in the morning, and they were saying that there's actually now quite a bit of a pickup in the TND segment. What are you witnessing, and why the underperformance on the guidance? So, Surabhi, there is no underperformance. I said that twenty five thousand crore is for the year guidance. We are already mm -hmm. at nineteen thousand or so. So I, I, right now we are maintaining our guidance. I do hope that we should be able to oh. meet that target. Okay. Number one. Okay. Number two is number two is uh, definitely we are doing very well in TND as compared to all of our, all our competitors. If you look at this order release also, almost seventy percent of this is TND. And if you look at our total order book plus L1, which is roughly around thirty seven, thirty eight thousand crores, almost uh, seventy seventy five percent of that is from TND. Okay. So clearly, TND is outperforming uh, all other segments. Okay. So, will your mix between TND and non-TND change now going ahead? Considering the TND is where we are seeing more momentum, more order wins. So clearly, TND is uh, I'll say back in action. We had earlier thought that TND will go down to forty percent and non-TND will become sixty percent. Right now, the way things are, TND is definitely going to be more than fifty percent. Uh, of our or, or orders as well, or for revenue, sorry, orders they are already more around 70%. Uh, revenue, they will definitely be more than uh, 50%. Uh, yeah. Mr. Kejriwal, I remember, you know, uh, speaking with you a couple of uh, quarters ago and it was India was absolutely in a lull and we used to always talk about how the international markets, Middle East was doing so much better for you. Now, how is that shaping along considering all this talk of uh, more renewable capacity in India and even perhaps more thermal capacity? Uh, given the way our peak deficits are moving. So, give us a breakup between exports in India and just how the, both the segments are growing. So, as of now, we still have uh, international TND at around 70% of our order book, of our TND order book, and 30% is India. But uh, looking at uh, the way this renewable piece is growing and the lines for that are coming up, especially in Rajasthan and Gujarat, we clearly see that uh, India it will also grow. However, the ratios are not improving because international is also growing very fast, especially the Middle East, whether it is Saudi, Oman, UAE, or the North America part of it. So we are getting orders from you know both the areas, which is why the ratio is still skewed in front in, in favor of international. But definitely, India is doing very well in terms of TND. And in terms of margin profile on these orders, are they comparable uh, international TND orders in India, or is there a difference? And if so, which is which is higher? I think typically international is slightly higher because of the risk profile. You know, you have the geopolitical and other risks in the, in the international market. So typically they are higher. Plus the cost of capital for them is, plus the cost of capital for them is, is lower, you know. So that way you typically see that the margins on international end up slightly higher than, than India. But right now it, it's, it's a place where uh, there are so many orders chasing a, a few players. So margins are going up in both the markets. Uh, so the new orders that you're winning are happening at what, uh, you know, in terms of a margin profile, what would it be? You're saying margins are going up. So, so typically we used to be at 8 to 10 percent. Now yes. I'll say they'll be 10, 10 percent plus. Okay. So the new orders are being bid at margins of 10 percent plus. What about your full yeah. year revenue guidance, sir? 20,000 20, crore. Are you on track to achieve it? 100 percent. I don't think there's okay. any doubt about that. We will definitely achieve that margin guidance. Uh, top line guidance and are there yeah. any pockets of um, you know weakness where there is some slowdown miscompared to your expectations 
So I think the supply chain issue still uh, uh, continues. We are still seeing, uh, you know, issues in supply, especially from Europe for our Middle East uh, projects, and now with this Red Sea issue happening. Uh, you know, supply chain is the only piece which which worries us a, a little bit. Mm. Mr. Kejriwal, just to go back to the margin point, I mean, that that sounds really promising. That new order orders are coming at uh, 10 percent uh, plus. I think the guidance that you'd given for FY24 was 7 percent EBITDA margin. Uh, do you see the case to perhaps increase that guidance or will the benefits flow through next year? I think the benefits will flow in next year. I don't think uh, we will see uh, the improvement in the margin beyond what we stated uh, this year. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, just take us through uh, CapEx plans, uh, any further investment programs that you're looking at for the balance of this year and also perhaps uh, for next year. So typically, we have been spending around 200 crores of uh, capex every year, and the same will happen uh, this year also. We are marginally increasing our uh, Dubai plant uh, capacity, and also a little bit uh, uh, investment in our cables factory, but nothing significant. Most of our investments are happening on the construction equipment, both in our civil business as well as in our T&D business. Uh, getting back to that point, sir, about margins of 10% plus, are these only in the export orders? Uh, in Middle East and U.S., or is it even for domestic orders? It's generally across the board. Across. across. And you spoke about how supply chain is uh, possibly the only, you know, chink in the armor. Uh, by how much is it impacting your revenues or execution? No, as of now, we have factored that in our 20,000 crore uh, guidance which you have given. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, on the non-TND side, uh, you know, what, what could be uh, the primary areas of interest going forward? What about railways? I mean, uh, what kind of opportunities are you seeing there with the kind of capex uh, outlay that the government has put, put in? So in non-TND, uh, for us, the biggest has obviously been civil. Our order book has almost uh, 20% of our order book is on civil, especially on the residential and, and industrial and also on the water side. Okay. Railways has been a bit of a laggard in terms of, uh, I'll say, capital expenditure, etc. with most of the capital expenditure being directed more towards, you know, one day barred trains and stations, etc. Infrastructure has been slightly on the, on the, on the back uh, receiving side of it. And I think now that uh, elections are, are close by, we will definitely start seeing more spend happening on uh, infrastructure post the elections. So I think railway should start picking up uh, uh, next year. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll leave it on that note. Thank you very much for joining in and giving us the business highlights. Uh, wish you a very happy new year and uh, look forward to more conversations in 2024. Happy new year to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take a